Hello guys and welcome to episode 2 of Stadium Stories, and we will be talking about the biggest stadium in Europe, the Camp Nou. The Camp Nou, now branded as the Spotify Camp Nou, is the biggest stadium in Europe and the fifth largest football stadium in the world. Located in Barcelona, it is home to one of the biggest football clubs in world football, FC Barcelona. The Camp Nou has hosted two Champions League finals, two European Cup Winners' Cup finals, five UEFA Super Cup games, four Copa del Rey finals, 21 Supercopa de España finals, the grand final at the 1992 Summer Olympics, games in the 1964 UEFA European Championship and games at the 1982 FIFA World Cup. The stadium has hosted the best footballers in the world such as Johan Cruyff, Ronaldinho and Lionel Messi. The Camp Nou has seen arguably the best football team to ever exist being 2011 Barcelona playing arguably the best style of football called Tiki Taka. Being a vital part of FC Barcelona's success, what makes the Camp Nou so special? Before the Camp Nou, FC Barcelona played their home games at the Camp de les Courts. However, due to the stadium having no room for expansion, the signing of Lorzlo Kubala attracting more fans to the stadium and FC Barcelona outgrowing the 60,000-seater stadium, a new stadium was being constructed. At the time, the official name of the stadium was the Estadi del FC Barcelona, but the stadium was referred to at the time as the Camp Nou, meaning New Field. Plans to construct a new stadium started on the 14th of November, 1950 when the then Auguste Montel Gallobart obtained the favourable agreement of an assembly of members to purchase land to construct the new stadium. The land was originally supposed to be located in Hospitalet de la Brigade, but the Barcelona City Council exchanged it for another plot of land in Les Corts. The official purchase of the land occurred in 1953. The architects for the stadium would be Francesc Midgens and Josep Soteris, with the collaboration of Lorenzo Garcia Barban. The first stone of the stadium was laid on 28 March, 1954 and was witnessed by thousands of people who travelled from the Camp de les Courts to La Major de Can Plains, where the ceremony of laying the first stone was held. The project took one year to complete which seems quick nowadays, but the construction of the stadium was supposed to take eight months, but the costs were more than four times higher than expected, reaching 288 million pesetas. FC Barcelona managed to complete the construction due to a series of mortgages and loans, and they hoped to cover the costs of the stadium with the sale of the land at Les Courts. However, the Barcelona City Council took five years to requalify the land, giving FC Barcelona a period of financial hardship which was ended by Spanish dictator Francisco Franco who authorized the requalification of the land at Les Courts and put an end to the financial crisis at FC Barcelona. The Camp Nou was inaugurated on 24 September, 1957, on the day of the Feast of La Merce. The Hallelujah from Handel's Messiah was preceded by a solemn mass conducted by the Archbishop, who welcomed the completed stadium. About 90,000 people attended the opening ceremony in the stadium stands, which was attended by dignitaries from the city and the Franco regime. During the event, football clubs from all over Catalonia paraded on the field, as well as members of the different sections of Barca, the Pennies and the different Barcelona teams. Similarly to the Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid, the stadium's design was inspired by Feyenoord's de Kuyt. The first of many major finals was played at the Camp Nou on 24 May, 1972 which was the European Cup Winners' Cup final between Rangers and Dynamo Moscow. The match ended in a 3-2 win to Rangers. Minor renovations were conducted in 1975 with the installation of electronic scoreboards. The first major expansion of the Camp Nou occurred in 1980 in anticipation of the 1982 FIFA World Cup. The expansion included the addition of boxes, VIP lounges, a new press area, new markers and the construction of the third tier. The third tier was smaller in height than the original design by 6 meters. The expansion took the seated capacity from 49,581 to 71,731 and the standing capacity from 33,170 to 49,670. This means that the total capacity of the stadium was 121,401 spectators. The Camp Nou hosted the inauguration of the 1982 FIFA World Cup on 13 June in a match between Diego Maradona's defending title Argentina and Belgium. The match ended in an unexpected 1-0 Argentina loss in front of a crowd of 95,000. 
The camp now hosted more games than any other of the 16 stadiums present at the tournament, but they did not host the final and the final was hosted at Real Madrid's Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid. After the World Cup, FC Barcelona recorded their record attendance in a European Cup, now known as the Champions League, quarter-final against Juventus on 5 March 1986. The match attendance that day was 120,000 spectators only 1,401 shy of the stadium's total capacity. The camp now hosted the 1989 European Cup final between AC Milan and Steaua Bucharesti on 24 May 1989. The match ended in a 4-0 win to AC Milan in front of 97,000 fans. The stadium was also used for the 1992 Summer Olympics that were held in Barcelona. It hosted the grand final for the football tournament between Poland and Spain on 8 August 1992. The match ended in a 3-2 win for Spain in front of 95,000 fans and crowned them the gold medalist on home soil. The stadium underwent renovations in 1993-1994 that included lowering the pitch by 2.5 meters, 8 feet, removing the security gap separating the lawn from the galleries, and replacing the standing room with individual seating. In time for the 1998-1999 season, several upgrades were finished, including a new press box, remodeling of the presidential grandstand and boxes, new parking beneath the main grandstand, and new lighting and sound systems. During 1998-99, UEFA rated Camp Nou a five-star stadium for its services and functionalities. The 1999 UEFA Champions League final between Manchester United and Bayern Munich was hosted at the Camp Nou. This match was known for Manchester United's extraordinary comeback from 1-0 down in the 90th minute to coming back 2-1 up with two goals in injury time by Teddy Sheringham and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. This match is considered as one of the best comebacks in all of football history. In 2000, the official name of the stadium was changed from the Estadi del FC Barcelona to the Camp Nou after a club member vote. On 17 March 2017, FC Barcelona played the second leg in the round of 16 of the Champions League. FC Barcelona went down 4-0 in the first leg in Paris and needed to score five goals to stage a near-impossible comeback and secure a spot in the quarter-finals. Barca took a 3-0 lead through Luis Suarez, Lionel Messi and a Levan Kurzawa own goal, but Edinson Cavani scored which meant that Barca had to score another three because of the away goal rule. Then a Maymar free kick in the 88th minute, a Maymar penalty in the 90th plus one minute of injury time and a Sergi Roberto volley in the fifth minute of injury time secured Barca a spot in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. This game rivals the comeback made by Manchester United in the 1999 Champions League final as one of the best comebacks in all of football history. This comeback was so historic that the fans named it La Remontada, meaning the comeback. The name of the Camp Now has been changed to the Spotify Camp Now on 1 July 2022 due to a sponsorship deal between FC Barcelona and Spotify. This was done to help aid the club out of their extreme financial predicament. In 2022, the Camp Now hosted the highest attendance for a women's football match since the 1971 FIFA Women's World Cup. The match was against Wolfsburg and ended in a 5-1 victory in front of 91,648 fans. FC Barcelona have been planning to remodel the Camp Now since its 50th anniversary on 24 September 2007. The club planned to increase the capacity of the Camp Now by 13,500 with at least half of the total seating to be undercover. This means that the capacity of the stadium would go up from 99,354 seats to 112,854 seats making it the third largest stadium in the world only behind Narendra Modi Stadium in India and the Rungrado 1st of May Stadium in North Korea which have total capacities of 132,000 and 114,000 respectively. British architect Norman Foster and his company were selected to restructure the Camp Now on the 18th of September 2007. This design included the addition of only 6,000 seats, making the capacity roughly 105,000, at an estimated cost of 250 million euros. The board of FC Barcelona approved the sale of their former training facility the Mini Estadi against significant opposition in order to finance the remodeling. The project was supposed to start in 2009 and be finished by the 2011-12 season, however due to the 2008 financial crisis, the sale of the Mini Estadi was postponed and so was the project. The election of Sandro Rosal as president of Barca halted the plan to remodel the stadium after he decided against selling the Mini Estadi. 
In 2014, the option of rebuilding the camp now was rejected by the board of directors at Barca due to financial constraints and instead opted to remodel the camp now to bring the capacity up to 105,000. This project was expected to start in 2017 and to finish by early 2021 costing about 600 million euros. This would make the remodeling of the stadium one of the most expensive expansions on a per seat basis. In May 2015, an improved design that included plans to expand seating and install a canopy over the stands was made public. Construction for this proposed project was expected to start in the summer 2020 and to be completed in 2024. This plan had to be postponed due to COVID-19. Finally, on the 28th of April, 2022, the City Council of Barcelona granted a license for the renovation of the Camp Nou after the 2021-22 season. Even after Barca being in 552 million euros worth of debt, the construction continued and it started on the 1st of June, 2023. The third tier was knocked down in mid-2023 and the renovations are expected to be completed during the 2025-26 season. Barca will now play at the Estadi Olympic Lewis Companies until renovations are finished. The Estadi Olympic Lewis Companies has played host to the 1992 Summer Olympics, but has not been consistently used since. After renovations of the Camp Nou are completed, it is expected that the stadium will be used for the 2030 FIFA World Cup hosted in Spain, Portugal, Morocco, Uruguay, Argentina and Paraguay. The Camp Nou has other uses, not just football. On the 17th of November, 1982, Pope John Paul II celebrated Mass in front of 121,500 people. It has hosted many musicians over the years such as Julio Iglesias, Bruce Springsteen, Michael Jackson, Sting, Peter Gabriel, Yusu Andor, Tracy Chapman, El Altimo de la Fila, The Three Tenors and U2. The 2015-16 Top 14 French Rugby Union League final was held at the Camp Nou on the 24th of June, 2016. The match drew a crowd of 99,124 spectators which set a new record for attendance at a domestic rugby union match. On the 18th of May, 2019, the Catalan Dragons hosted Wigan Warriors at the Camp Nou in the stadium's first Super League rugby match. The match ended 33-16 for the Catalan Dragons in front of a crowd of 31,555 fans. The Camp Nou is known as one of the best arenas in the world. The Camp Nou is the biggest club-owned football stadium in the world and due to this fact has hosted the highest match capacities in all of football and the highest average attendance in all of world football. The stadium has hosted two Champions League finals, two European Cup Winners' Cup finals, five UEFA Super Cup games, four Copa del Rey finals, 21 Supercopa de España finals, the grand final at the 1992 Summer Olympics, games in the 1964 UEFA European Championship and games at the 1982 FIFA World Cup as well as the likes of Michael Jackson and U2. The stadium is also known for seeing the greatest comebacks in the history of the sport such as the Champions League final in 1999 and La Remontada. The Camp Nou has seen arguably the best football team to ever exist being either 2009, 2011 or 2015 Barcelona playing arguably the best style of football called Tiki Taka. It has seen the greatest footballers of all time such as Johan Cruyff, Ronaldinho and Lionel Messi. This is what makes the Camp Nou so special. Thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what stadium you would like to see next in this series.